Want to learn how to use fonts like these on your iPhone? Well, today's your lucky day. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will be giving you a quick tutorial on how to download fonts from DeFont to your iPhone. Before we get started, please make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you can get alerted anytime I post a new video. And yeah, let's get started. Okay guys, so first we're going to go into Safari and we're going to go to DeFont.com. I already have it saved in my favorites. And then it's going to show you this page right here that says like recently added fonts. And then at the top there's these little sections like fancy. And they have different categories below them. So like cartoon has these cartoony fonts. And then Groovy has like the 90s fonts and Groovy fonts. And then there are also horror fonts and stuff like that. And so that's fancy. Um, there's foreign look fonts, which has all the foreign look fonts. Techno, Bitmap, Gothic, which has Medieval. Um, basic, which is where you can get like Coolvetica or Helvetica or stuff like that. Script is cursive, calligraphy dingbats or dingbats and then they have holidays which have like different holidays in them so since it's close to valentine's day i'm going to download a valentine's day font so i think i'm gonna download the cupid font because i think that's cute so i'm going to click on it and then it shows like all the characters that come with the font um it has these little boxes under characters because it doesn't have those characters. The font doesn't provide those numbers or capital letters, stuff like that. So up here, which is very cool about the font, you can do custom preview and you can type whatever you're trying to type. So I just put my name and then like the little arrow on the outside of it. And here's how it turned out. So if you like this font for whatever you're using, then you can know what it looks like and you can download it and if you know then you can go to a different font and so right here above download it says free for personal use um this means that you can use it for like yourself you cannot sell it though if it says personal use then if you're trying to sell it then you'd have to like pay a license if the font says commercial use, then that means that they don't mind if you sell it um, and you don't have to pay a license for it. And yeah, that's commercial use and personal use. So now you're going to hit download and then it's going to ask you if you want to download and you're going to hit download again. And so at the bottom left corner, it's going to have like where your two ways are if you have the iOS 15 update. And then it's going to have a little download button that's pointing down. If you click on that and then go to downloads then you can see the file that was downloaded and i'm just telling you now i'm gonna say file a lot then it will take you to files and it will have it in your files so when you click on it it's another little file and then you click on that and then you press the share button and then i on my phone i just already have it where it says share to fonto so I just click on Fonto and then it'll have it in Fonto and say install. So now I'm just going to add a background and it's just going to be transparent. Um, if you watch my keychain video, you would know that you just slide the alpha down to zero and then it's transparent no matter what color you choose. So now I'm just going to type something. Um, I think I'm just going to type be mine valentine or something like that. I'm not actually using this. I'm just showing you how it'll work. So you type, I'm typing Valentine with the little arrows, so I used all of the letters for that, that I seen in the font, and then I look for my font under fonts, and I changed the V to lowercase V. And yeah guys, that is it for my video. If you enjoyed it, like I said in the beginning, please make sure to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and share my videos. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!